Hello people, so as some of you know, I am a massive Harry Potter fan and because of this, I have lots of Harry Potter things. I went to the Harry Potter studio tour last week and I was just going to do a studio tour haul, but I thought it would be a better idea to show off all of the Harry Potter things I have. So here is my Harry Potter collection. To start off, I want to show off a few things that were actually made for me. They were a Christmas present from a friend's mum who knew I was into Harry Potter and had started doing a lot of biography. And a few years ago, she made me some coasters. Now there are four in total, they all have their own little image on them. So this one has the Harry Potter logo. This one is a picture of Harry Potter himself. This one is the sorting hat. And the next one, my personal favorite, Dobby. I don't actually use these as coasters. They are currently on display on a bookshelf downstairs because I just thought they were too nice to use and I didn't want to get tea stains on them and ruin them. The next things I want to mention are two t-shirts that I own. They are both from Primark. I have actually worn them in many videos so some of you might have seen these already. So the first one is this basic grey t-shirt. It has Hogwarts on it and the Hogwarts crest. The second one is my personal favourite and that is this t-shirt with a expected Patronum on it and a picture of Harry's stag Patronus. I think it's really pretty and it's purple which is my favourite colour and expected Patronum is actually my favourite spell in the Harry Potter series so yeah when I saw this I couldn't resist. Next up books. So obviously the first one I have to mention is the Hogwarts Library. So these are books that are books within the Harry Potter universe. So the characters within the books actually own these books themselves, which I think is really cool that they were published as books for us muggles to read. The first one being Quidditch Through the Ages. The second one was probably the most famous one until the third one I'm going to mention, and that is The Tales of Beedle the Bard. This book was actually one of the most important things mentioned in Deathly Hallows, the last Harry Potter book. And the third one from the Hogwarts Library is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scarmander. The character who wrote this book within the Harry Potter universe is the lead character of the film Fantastic Beasts, which is coming out later on this year, which is really exciting. This is basically an encyclopedia of magical creatures, creatures that Newt Scarmander himself has come across. And I was really interested in learning all things magical creatures features so yeah awesome there we go the next book is for people who want to know every single itty bitty little detail of the Harry Potter series and that is the lexicon book by Steve van der Ark, an unauthorized guide to Harry Potter fiction and related materials. There is a website for the lexicon, something that I paid more attention to rather than the Harry Potter wikia because the lexicon actually take real facts and figures and information from the stories themselves whereas the wikia is fans kind of posting their own stuff and it also includes things from the games and a lot of stuff from the films whereas lexicon is based purely on the books which is what i like because the books to me are the real thing the films and the games are not it basically has everything in alphabetical order it's like a dictionary for all things Harry Potter related. So on this specific page, you have the Fountain of Fair Fortune, France, Fudge Flies, everything and anything ever mentioned in the Harry Potter series in alphabetical order with a description of what they are, <laughs> which is really awesome actually. You can find out absolutely anything from this book. So a very nifty thing to have, and I hate the word nifty and I just used it in a video. And now moving on to the best part of this Harry Potter collection, all of the things I got from the Warner Bros Studio Tour. So I'm gonna first mention things I got from when I went to the tour the first time, which was back in 2014. And the first thing I got was this little pygmy puff. They are a creation from friend George Weasley. There are creatures in the Harry Potter universe called puff skins I think which I think are only mentioned in the books. Pygmy puffs are miniature versions of puff skins. I think they're really cute and obviously I had to get one. Another thing I got from my first visit to the tour was this mug. I am a Hufflepuff. I am a very proud Hufflepuff so anything I can get that has a house preference to it 
I would get anything and everything Hufflepuff related. I thought these looked really cool. It has the Hufflepuff crest on it and it says loyal on it, which is one of the most important things to be when you're a Hufflepuff and it's black and it's quite big. It's really awesome. And the other Hufflepuff related thing I got was this massive cushion. You've probably seen it in the back of my videos a few times. The back of it is so soft which is what made me want to buy it in the first place it has the Hufflepuff crest on it obviously and it's black and yellow the Hufflepuff colors I love these little tassels that they have on them so squishy and lovely and I couldn't resist and the last thing I got on my first trip was a wand because you cannot go to a Harry Potter gift shop in the Warner Bros studios and not purchase a wand. It took me a while to decide which one to get, but I eventually decided to get Hermione Granger's wand. And again, another reason I bought this wand is because I thought it was so pretty. It has this nice kind of detail on it. Unfortunately, I can't do magic while using it. And moving on swiftly to the second time I went to the tour last week, I had to purchase another wand. I said I was going to get Luna Lovegood's wand and I got Luna Lovegood's wand. And here it is completely different shape to Hermione's wand. It has this nice little kind of tulip detail at the end. And again, I cannot perform magic with this wand. I suppose it's because these wands didn't choose me, did they? I chose them. So as soon as I entered the gift shop itself, I beelined straight for one of the first things I saw, and that is the scarf section. And I got the Hufflepuff scarf. And it is one of the two reasons why I cannot wait for it to be winter so I can wear this all of the time when I'm out and about. I really wanted a Hufflepuff scarf. I'm really glad I finally got one and yeah, I'm going to be wearing it all the time in winter. Show off my Hufflepuff pride, you know, hashtag Hufflepuff pride. And to go with it, but something I'm obviously not going to be wearing all the time because it's much more fragile and it has these specific washing conditions, which makes me think I'm just not going to wash it at all. So I can't wear it that often. But it is the Hufflepuff Quidditch Jamper, yes! Oh, I've wanted one of these for ages, but it's like 70 odd quid and I just couldn't justify buying a jumper for that price. But I thought, you know what, my pride in Hufflepuff is so big right now possibly partly because of Fantastic Beasts and the main character being a Hufflepuff. The Hufflepuffs are coming out from underneath the woodworks, people. They are going to take over, okay? These are the two things I specifically wanted to get this time I went, and I've got them, and I have no shame in it. Absolutely no shame in it. And the last thing I got was something I wasn't intending on getting, but I just could not resist, and that is some Hufflepuff socks. It says Hufflepuff on it. They're yellow and black. Can never have too many socks just ask Dumbledore and that is it from my Harry Potter collection if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I hope everyone is having a great day and I'll see you next time